and welcome to this 15 minute full body workout for beginners. We have just got four exercises for you today. We are going to move in very slowly and with control and I'm going to give you some different variations for each exercise but I just want you to start with very light weight or you don't even have to have a lot, any weight at all to begin with. You can grab something maybe from the house, something nice and light like a couple of bottles of water or get rid of the water and fill it with stones but you can move at your own pace as you progress through this workout. We are gonna do a quick warm up before we begin. For each exercise, we're gonna be working for 35 seconds only and a 15 second rest. But as always, you press pause when you need to, take extra breaks when you need to. You just need, as I said, a bit of a weight, a mat, maybe a drink. We're gonna get started. We're just gonna do a very quick warm up before we start. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is just shoulder rolls all the way around, just get them nice and warm, and then big circles with those arms. Good, excellent. And then we're just gonna do big hip circles. So all the way around one way first, and then we're gonna go around the other way. So we're just getting your body quite supple, warm, loosened up a little bit before we begin. Now the first exercise we've got is a deadlift, which I will demo in a moment. But because we've got a deadlift coming up, I want to mobilize the back and the legs as well. So we're going to come behind the mat. We're going to slowly come down, slow as you want to. You can just let yourself hang for a moment. And then you're going to slowly come down to the floor until you stay in a high plank here. So you push your belly button to your spine, and then you're going to let yourself drop down. And then you're going to push all the way up, sit back and push your arms out. Good. And then from here, we're just going to put our feet onto the floor here. And then we're going to come back down to the floor. We're just going to rotate one hand underneath, reaching forward. And then change sides. You'll keep your elbow nice and soft on this side, all the way round. And back to the centre. We're just going to come round onto our back. We're going to lie down, arms by our side, knees in. We're going to rotate them one way down. And then we're going to go all the way to the other side. Good. Back to the centre. Have a little hug of those knees. And relax. We're going to come all the way round all the way back up from here come up onto your feet slowly back nice little hang again and we're going to slowly come up good okay so we've got four exercises for you which i'll show you and you can do them with me now just to keep you nice and warm the deadlift we're going to hinge at our hip so we're going to be a hinge movement putting my shoulders back hands on my thighs I'm going to hinge down towards the floor till I get mid shin and then I'm going to come all the way back up and squeeze my butt really tight. So you breathe in on the way down and breathe out on the way up. The next exercise is a hammer curl. We're just going to curl the hands back from here all the way to the shoulder. So again, we're going to use a light weight for this. As you get used to this movement, we're going to be walking really, really slowly. Good, the next exercise is a lunge. You can hold on to a side if you need to. We're gonna take one leg behind, as far as we can go, without going too far so you feel like you're out of balance. You're dropping down and back up. So that's the beginning. Drop back, down and up. And you'll do that on each side. And then the last exercise you have is a bent over row. We're gonna hinge a bit like the deadlift and we're going to be pulling back towards our hips. So we're doing a bent over row to here. And there are four exercises. So you're going to work with me at your own pace, remember? So let's get ready to go. We're going to start with our deadlift, working for 35 seconds. If you're ready, we're going to get started. So get yourself your weights. All right, so your deadlift, you're going to hinge at the hip. Shoulders pull back, 
Okay, I'm gonna breathe in and then breathe out as I stand. And again, try and keep those shoulders all the way back and then stand again. So this is working the back of those legs. Good, the lower back and your butt as well. So literally working a lot of the lower body, squeeze, eight seconds, hinge. Back up. Remember you can do this without a weight to begin with. And rest. Okay, the next one is our hammer curl. I'm going to stand with my weights next to my arms, um, next to my sides, my arms. Pull up and down. I'll keep my elbows tucked in nice and tight. Okay, let's go. So breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in, nice and slow. So I'm really resisting on the way down. Good. This is really working those biceps on those arms. Pull, down, and again. Good, so we breathe out. Good. And rest. Okay, next we have a lunge. I'm gonna do the first round without any weight, with support, okay? You can do these on your own, absolutely fine. Don't use support, otherwise you're gonna use the side. Okay, one leg behind. Breathe in, breathe out as you push back up. Down, breathe in, breathe out. Good. And change sides. I'm going to change over. Down, back, down, back. You can do this without, absolutely fine. We're doing it like this. And I'll show you with the weight next time and relax. And whenever you're doing the lunge, I want you to drive that knee outwards every time you're going down. I've got to tell you that. Okay. Bend over row with your weight. We're going to hinge, pull, breathe out, and then breathe in. Again, slow and controlled, slow on the way down. Big pull, resist on the way down. Good, okay, keep going. Nearly there. Three, two, one. Relax. Well done. Okay, that's one man done. Back to the beginning. Deadlift again. With or without your weights, you're going to hinge hands or weights down your legs. You ready? Okay, let's go. Breathe in. Keep those weights attached to your legs. Now breathe out. Go again. curl again she will bring me up breathing out in taking it down keeping those elbows nice and close okay let's go slowly down good keep going slow remember slow and control we're trying to build as much muscle as we can so we want to really resist on the way down. That helps our muscle work for longer. Good. If you find that you can do this really easy with your weights, then it's definitely time to progress. And you can either get some more weights or do an extra round of this, but eventually you do want to add more weight. Okay, we're now going to go for a lunge. I'm going to do this with my weights now just to show you. Otherwise, you'll hold down to the side as we did before. 
and push. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, so I'm just staying on the same leg. And then we're gonna change legs on the next one. The shape in the front. So I'm coming down, but I'm driving that knee outwards and back. Good. Good work. So nice if we drive the whole time. That's what we want. Building that muscle. Shake them arms out. Okay, we've got a bent over row. Get ready. Okay, let's go. Okay, big pull, breathe out. Then breathe in and breathe out again. Good. Big pull, resist on the way down. This is working your back. Try and keep your back nice and straight. Shoulders pull back. Good. Two, one. Woo, well done. Okay, back to our deadlift. Last time, we're nearly there. Last round coming up. Less than three minutes. Okay, are we ready? Hinge, breathe in. Breathe out. Good. Really focus on shoulder blades being pulled back. Weight staying on your legs and using weights. Keep your head neutral. Amazing, okay, hand cleans, last one, well, hammer curls, so last one where we're pulling up to our shoulders, okay, three, two, okay, up, slow, breathe in now, breathe out, breathe out now, breathe in, everyone gets confused on the breathing, I just got it wrong as well, <laughs> fine, breathe out, Breathe in. Always breathing out on the hardest part of the work. So bringing these dumbbells up is harder than letting them go back down. And again. Seven. Two. One. Rest. Well done. Okay, we've got our lunges. Okay, get ready for your lunge. You can hold it like this if you like. You just have one weight. You can hold it in the middle there. Or like this. However you want. Right, I'm going to go again. Okay, breathe in. Breathe out. I'm going to alternate my fit this time. The main thing is, go at your pace. Don't worry about going too fast. Stay on slow and controlled. And drive that knee out. Straight in the front. So that knee's driving out. Breathe in. Imagine that knee's pushing against the wall outwards. See how slow we're going? Slow. Amazing. Okay, one more to go. Bent over row. Okay, so this is our last one. We're nearly there. Four, three, two, one. Let's go. Pull. Good. Amazing. So we do three rounds minimum because we really want those muscles to get used to a movement. So that's why we're going slow and controlled. But I'm doing three times through to really work those muscles hard. Four, three, two, one. Amazing, well done. Okay, just to finish, haven't planned it, but I'm just gonna put a little core exercise in to finish. So we're gonna come to the floor. We're just gonna use one of our weights. We're gonna lie down. 
So you take your time getting to the floor while I show you what we're doing. We're going to be with or without this weight. So without the weight, we're going to be doing this. I'm going to be reaching up past my knees. And then I'm going to relax. So I'm reaching up. And then I'm going to relax. Just like that, nice and slow. So we're just going to finish off with a little bit of core. Just to finish, we're just going to do a few reps of this exercise. With the weight, it is just like this. I touch the floor behind me, then I come up, reach, little hold, down, touch, back, hold. Okay, so let's go for time. Let's go for 35 seconds. Let's get ready to go. Just to finish this little exercise, I'm just going to add this in, a little sneaky exercise to add in. Okay, reach over, down, good, and again, if that's too much for the weight, take the weight out, little hold at the top, One rest, good. Sit yourself up, one more exercise, and then we are done. This is just an extra little bit if you've had the time to do it. We're gonna finish on an oblique twist. That's where we're gonna go side to side. So when you're ready, just join in with me. Last bit, and then we are done. All the way around. Breathe out every time it touches the floor. Slow and controlled. Good. Amazing. Come on, keep going. In three, two, one, and relax. Well done. Okay. Well done. I just thought I'd sneak that little bit of core in at the end for you. I hope you enjoyed this workout. Should be around 15 minutes, I might have gone a bit over, but anyway, hopefully you enjoyed it. Let's just circle those hips just to loosen off before we all finish. And just remember, when you're beginning, just starting out, light weights is fine. Just get used to the form. Make sure performing exercise is really well and controlled before worrying about adding any weight whatsoever. Loosen the shoulders all the way around. Other way, good, one more, just bring one arm through, and then change sides, and we are done, I hope you enjoyed that one, let me know how you got on, catch you next time.